In this video, we will talk about the Friedman test. The Friedman test is a non-parametric version of a randomized block design. In this, every block of unit is assigned all K treatments and then we determine the possible differences among treatment means. For example, a block may be one person who is receiving all treatments, say received K products to use and differentiate the products. The fragment test is a test where the data are in the form of ranks. The best is 1 and the second best is 2 and the worst is K. When assumption of normality does not hold, then in this situation we may use the fragment test. So the hypothesis testing is null hypothesis, the distribution of K treatments are identical and alternative hypothesis, the distribution of K treatments are not identical. The steps of the Friedman test are as follows. Create n into k table where n is the number of blocks and k is the number of treatments. Within each block, the observations are in the form of ranks. So the Friedman test statistic is x square uh, 12 by nk by k plus 1 summation of i is equal to 1 to k r square by minus 3n k plus 1. Now the decision is for small samples say k less than 6 and n less than 14 Determine the critical value of Ft from the table. Compare the obtained x square and the critical Ft values. If the obtained value is larger than the critical value, then reject the null hypothesis. If the obtained value is less than or equal to the critical value, then do not reject the null hypothesis. Please note that for large samples, say k greater than 5 and n greater than 13, if x square is more than the k square value, x, uh, then reject the null hypothesis. So, if the k is greater than 5 and n is greater than 13, we have to use the chi square value. We have to follow the chi square table. But if it is the if it is if these conditions are not true, then we have to uh, use the fragment test table. Now example: following table displays the rank best is one, second best is two, and so on of three colors of the mobile phone given by 10 customers. Test whether the distributions are same or not. So P1 to P10, 10 customers are there and 3 colors are there, white, black and red. So in this we can, in this particular table, customer 1 given first rank white, second rank red, third rank black. P2 customer given first rank to the black, second rank white, third rank red. P3 customer given first rank white, uh, first rank black, second rank white, third rank red. Similarly. P8 customer, first rank red, second rank black, third rank white. Solution. Now, null hypothesis is the distributions of three colors are identical, and alternative hypothesis is the distribution of three colors are not identical. Now, we can see so these are the ranks. So, these are the ranks of white colors, these are the ranks of black colors, and these are the ranks of red colors. If you add all the ranks, so the, the total summation of ranks of white color is 19, summation of the ranks of black color is 17 and summation of the ranks of the red color is 24. So n is equal to 10, so total 10 customers are there, k is equal to 3, total 3 colors are there and r1 is equal to 19, it is given, r2 is equal to 17, it is there and r3 is equal to 24 from the table. So Friedman test statistics is we have to use this particular formula where 12 by n k, n is 10, k is 3 and k plus 1 into k plus 1. So k is equal, all, all are given, r1 square is 90 square plus r2 square plus r3 square. We have to add all these things minus 3 n, n is equal to 10, total 10 uh, customers are there. Into k plus 1, k value is 3. So all the, given, all, all the values are given here. And if you calculate this, the value is 2.6. Here k is equal to 3 and n is equal to 10 and assume the significance level is 5%. So alpha is equal to 0 0.05 so, and from the table, so we can see this particular table, n is equal to 10 and level of significance is 5%, the value is 6.20. Okay, so this is fragment table and uh, uh, from the table 6.20 which is more than the calculated value 2.6, we can see the calculated value is what? We, we, we can see the calculated value is 2.6 here. 
Okay, so hence we do not reject the null hypothesis. Now, if you use chi square table distribution table, so the chi square table uh, we can get so the uh, degree of freedom is what three minus one two, and level of significance is say five percent. The chi square table value is five point nine nine one four, and uh, uh, here uh, the calculated value two point six is less than the chi square value. Hence, do not reject the null hypothesis. That is the end of this particular video. Thank you very much. In the next video.